hands, seven of the hands, seven of the hands, palm hand, all done, hammer high, gotta go. Sold it in the back, $65. There was plenty of excitement in the air for the state's auctioneer championship as bidders called out and auctioneers worked the crowd. Good auctioneers know that it's not just the chance to buy prized merchandise, but the competition between buyers that helps them deliver the best value for their customers. And that's why auctions continue to be popular with some buyers and sellers. There's a lot of auctions going on. Real estate is on the rise. Um, the collectible industry, if you will, has to be extremely quality uh, for it to really bring the money. Y your average household items uh, aren't doing as well as they, they were at one time, but your collectibles uh, as far as very nice antique furniture, stoneware, uh, art and things of that nature are doing, are doing well. The cattle industry is good, the horse industry is extremely strong. Um, so, you know, the auction, the auction industry in the Commonwealth is alive and well, extremely, extremely vigorous right now. The skills, the ability, and the quality of Virginia auctioneers are tested each year at the Auctioneers Contest at the State Fair of Virginia. Auctioneers get the chance to perform before a group of judges and in competition with other auctioneers from around the state. Daniel Lanier of Pittsylvania County won bragging rights when he was chosen 2017 state champion. For an auction or an auctioneer, it's true price discovery. We, we build a competitive buying experience. It's not like going to a yard sale where they say it's worth $5 and you pay $5. You might think it's worth five, we get 25 for it. You know, that, that's what we do. We, we do everything we can to make every dollar possible for our sellers. Auctions are used to sell everything from farm equipment and automobiles to real estate and collectibles in the Old Dominion. Charles Nichols says auctions are also a tradition here in Virginia one that has been around for many generations. There are people now, because of the changing way of uh, eBay and so forth, people going to Craigslist and putting their items on, which really is just an auction in itself. And so what they see is that there is a way for me to maintain the most money that I can maintain, and I'd rather put it in a competitive bidding scenario and that's what the auction process is but for me I just see that the auction profession um, over the generations over the years um, there's still two people that want the same item and then you see that from families and they say you know my grandfather had an auction he did really well I'm gonna do the same thing and it works out that way it's evident by the energy that competitor Wendy Grimms brings to the stage that she is totally immersed in the auction process. This was Grimms' first state competition, and she enjoyed it. Well, I am a second generation auctioneer. My father actually got into it back in the 70s, so I grew up in the auction industry. I've been around it my entire life. Um, I just started actually selling about a year and a half ago myself, and I absolutely love it. It's so much fun. It's fun to be up on stage. There's definitely, right now, a big shift to online auctions, so we're kind of starting to experiment with that a little, but also keeping the live outcry auctions. They're the most fun. <laughs> Next time you see an auction classified in the paper or you come across one online, just jump in your car and go. They are fun. There's usually food, and it's going to be an exciting, fun day. You will not regret it, and you might find something that you just couldn't live without. Online auctions are more popular than ever on the internet as buyers watch the bids come in and click on the bid button on their own screen. But there's nothing like the excitement of a traditional live auction, the competition of the sale between the buyers and the audience present and the fevered pitch of the auctioneer provide the driving force behind the entire sales event. In Caroline County, this is Dave Miller.